Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, very excited because we have a lot to cover, a lot to break down. Uh, we went on a great run um, with Bullet and um, what are the other troops called? Heavies. <laughs> a bit of a brain fart there to start off. But guys, if you find these videos help you out, I do appreciate it if you use the code chicken in the shop. It does help us out if you use somebody's code. So um, yeah, also wanted to mention that because... Uh, actually today we're doing the giveaway in the discord server live so make sure that you guys join the server the link to that is in the description you got to scroll down a bit and then it'll say your, uh, your discord link um so yeah as long as you you're using the code chicken you're entered in the giveaway you're in the discord and you're gonna see who wins from there so it's as simple as that now let's get into the good stuff so here's where we're at now i'm gonna slowly go over the tech tree here um man what a crazy season i mean have we ever had a season in, like how crazy is it that not only did we have uh zookas pretending to be zookas but we thought they were in the dev build turned out to be vampire zookas um that drastically changed you know a lot of people's trees uh because most people were planning on heavy rushing at the start but then the meta shifted to, to vampire zookas being so dominant and it was it was very strange you know i i, I feel like that's uh you know, something that we would know, want to know in advance if it's going to be a, a totally different troop that nobody's ever used before. Vampire Zookas, Zookas have been in the game, but not for an extended period of time. I think they got pulled almost instantly, so we haven't really been able to play around with them a lot until today. So, here's what we got. We got Dr. Vitamin. Dr. Vitamin is crazy. We got Bullet at rank 3. We want to get him up to rank 4. And now, we're simply saving to go uh, up to 4 engines and get us some Bombardiers. Now... An alternate route would be getting rocket launchers. I, I hear rocket launchers are very good. Again, that's it's going to be more so for the people that are a little bit ahead in tech. You know, maybe they, they killed it on their rank chests and uh, they have more tokens to dump into rocket launchers. For most of us, you know, rank two, rank three rockets, they're not going to do that much. So I would say the best way is to, uh, you know, if you guys are struggling to get bullet, get Dr. Vitamin, then get up to four as quickly as possible. So here's the base I've been using. This is an anti... Uh, heavy heavy rush with bullet base and it works okay it doesn't stop them dead but uh, it definitely works pretty well um, yeah I went on a huge run today I, I actually fell back initially I uh, I was I, I was stuck because I only had vampire zookas and I didn't have anything else I had no other offensive troop you couldn't use heavies they were useless um, now here's a tip for you guys if you're stuck with vampire zookas like I was, get Dr. Vitamin. That pushed me from 14 to 16, just getting Dr. Vitamin. You use one boat at rank one, that's all you need. He does the rest. So there's a little tip, and uh, I got him up to tick three. I think that's probably as high as I'm going to upgrade him. But um, but yeah, so this is the base you want to use for anti-heavy. Um, I'll show you some defenses before where we have the other base. But uh, yeah, let's just get into the attacks here. Now, I'm actually beating four engines with this same attack strategy. So I want to go over this. Um, it, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. I actually made a mistake here. When you when you, uh, when you you drop your boat of Dr. Vitamins, drop them very far back because they're extremely fast. And you'll see I'll actually lose like half of my boat here by just flaring, dropping the flag um, up at the very top. So don't do that. And then it's simply heavy rushing. Um, you know, we want the vitamins to last as long as they can. You can either use energy drink or taunt. Um, and then we're just simply flaring, 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 going from engine to engine to engine. Uh, you know, maybe shock the doom cannon a couple times. It kind of depends where it is, if it's hitting a lot of your troops. And then we go up here and um, we, we finish off the attack. So that's basically all that we're doing. Now we're doing this against 4ER. We're doing this against 3ER. Uh, and let's see the difference here. So for three engines, we want to drop them on the right side. If there's no defenses, then it doesn't matter what order you throw your boats out. Just launch them out. Uh, the, the vitamins will stay behind your troops for the most part. It's just that initial flag drop. They're going to run straight up to the flag. So I shocked the Doom Cannon. Uh, this is a very easy attack strategy against 3R. It's essentially just heavy rushing. Um, you want to try to keep the heavies alive. Um, but spread your GB out so it's like 50% 50, 50, 50 protecting your heavies. 50% uh, using energy drinks with bullet. You can also use taunt, like I said. So, you know, that's a little bit of both. I find taunts a little bit slower if you can't get energy drink to work uh, perfectly. We did lose against Cactus on our last one. Shout out to, uh, to Cactus there. Um, yeah, so let's let's run through another one here. And so this base, it's going to be the same thing. 
Now, this time we go from the left, <clears throat> and then we go up to the Doom Cannon because it was kind of on the way, and then I go up around the top and then over to the right. A bit of a, you know, a bit of a kind of snake trail, if you will, but we ended up getting it, and uh, Bullet is strong enough at rank 3 to take out engines by himself without much of an issue. So, here's where I'm at now. This is why I stopped pushing, because I'm facing some of these bases, and uh, these are almost impossible to take down with just heavies and uh, Dr. Vitamin and Energy Drink. It did end up being Cactus, though, so, I mean, I don't feel too bad about that. And I didn't lose that many stars because he is rank 18. But let's see how he takes down our base. So he's using Bombardiers, Vampire Zookas, and let's see what else he's got going on here. We'll get into some live attacks in just a sec. Uh, so he's going Vampire Zookas and Bombardiers. Huh, this might be a nice little preview of what's coming next. So this is why we want to get to four engines, guys. We want to get the Bombardiers as quickly as we can. Um... That's really going to allow us to just get, uh, you know, really improve our times. Now, I completely fizzled, and I got mad, and I closed the game <laughs> on this attack, because I, I was like, oh, what do I do against the Sky Shield? So I don't know how quickly he actually took us down, but it seems like it was pretty fast. So let's get into another attack here and see what we get uh, see what we get matched up against. But at this point, I'm really just saving. Uh, I don't want to be pushing right now. I just want to simply save... Um, I don't know. I I, I want to be able to save my chests and then go and collect those and get the get them ready for tomorrow. Um, this is an interesting base. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go like this. Now you see, we'll throw Doctor Vitamin there at the bottom. I did not realize that I brought Taunt, but I think that's actually going to work out okay for this one. Let's see. So we'll go like this, and I'm actually going to. Shock the Doom Cannon, go over here next. I'm doing this pretty slowly. The flares are a little bit off, but it's okay. Uh, let's go like this next. I'm hitting the Doctor instead of the Flare. Let's just keep going like that. And, I mean, we're doing somewhat okay for time. Okay, let's get another Taunt. We have lots of Shocks left. And we'll do one more Taunt here. Our flares are nice and healthy, so... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe energy drink would have been better. But, uh... Yeah, a little bit slow here at the end. Come on, come on! Ugh, of course we're not going to get it. <sighs> so that was my fault. I should have checked if I had energy drink loaded up. Typically, it's an auto win if you're using this uh, against a three-engine base. That was a bit of a strange one. I haven't seen that one just yet. But, uh... Let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. Maybe uh, I, I don't think I skated it very long, so I don't think so. Yeah, 312. So let's see what he did. Let's see what he did. How did he go here? Same thing. I like where he put the uh, where he put the vitamins though. That was nice. All right, so we don't need to watch that. <clears throat> Let's do one more. <laughs> I'm having a flashback to yesterday's video when when we were doing really well and then I lost two in the video. I I've won like the last 18 out of 20. We've won on a, a great run today just by using this. So this will help you out if you guys are stuck. If you're saving, you know, uh, going to four and just waiting for bombers like we just saw. That's obviously going to be a viable uh, way to go about things too. This way we get bullet nice and early, which is good. Um, you know, Everspark is kind of meh. Um, and Kavan is a little bit out of the way unless you want to go and grab that Sky Shield. So I, I, I like the path that we're on and we kind of deviated a little bit. I wasn't planning on taking Kavan right out of the gates. Um, but it just kind of ended up that we took bullets. So now we got to make them work. Now we got to make them work. All right, let's go like this. I'm just going to launch them all out here. I use Taunt again. God. It's... It, it, it's much faster with energy drink when uh, you're going against three engines because I, I have no use for taunt here. My heavies aren't going to die. I can get it by with one shock. You know, it's just a waste of GB. Not a waste of GB, but it's just a waste of, uh, you know, time that we could be spending. If we go like this. And let's go like that. Yeah, because this last engine is not going to go down quickly at all. That's the issue. One taunt there. Wait for everything to go away. See, like, we would have ripped through this with energy. God damn. Ha! <sighs> Whatever. It is what it is. You would think after I complained about the whole first match that I was switched over, but whatever. Okay, so, <clears throat> there it is. It does work. Don't be a chicken. Get the right hero ability. And uh, that's what's going to get you guys forward onto, uh, 
all to four engines and you know at least we got our 17 rank chests so we're just going to chill out from here and i uh, hope that helps you guys out if it does make sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video as always guys thank you so much for watching that is going to wrap it up for the video today make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting entertaining or informative and we'll see you next one guys chicken out back back all right i'm going to throw this into the video somewhere this this is actually pretty cool um of course i w I, I stopped recording we, and we won the two but um what i wanted to show you was the difference between using taunt and using energy drink and uh, I want to show you that hit because that was pretty cool that we just beat this guy at four ERs and he had bombers. So there we go. Back up to 17. But here, check this one out. So look at the difference here. This is why they're so close. Now at three engines, here, here's the difference when you're using energy drink. It's just a little bit faster, right? So then you can kind of save at least one or two for the end. Shock a little bit here and there. And then you're going to kind of rip through those uh, engines at the very end. And I did the same thing on this guy at 4 ER. I just simply went from engine to engine to engine like I showed you before. Again, I made the mistake with the Dr. Vitamins again. Um, not too crazy. You, you guys already saw that. But uh, I wanted to include this guy's replay because uh, it was it was kind of surprising that, you know, the a Cactus's hit looked so good um, using these same troops. But then we see this guy. Now, he didn't drop his bombers correctly. It looks like he roasted three of them right off the bat. But he more or less did kind of the same thing with the Vampire Zookas and Bombers in the back. And he did not have a very good time of doing it. Um, and it looked like he did everything correctly other than... I think he just lost a lot of Bombers to the Mines and to that Flamethrower off the start. So, food for thought. Wanted to throw that in. I'll slip it in either at the beginning or at the end. 